afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a little after four o'clock in the afternoon. And today I am going to attempt to make an apple pie. So I'm going to read out the ingredients that I'm using for this. I'm going to use a one quarter cup of sugar and one uh, of white sugar and a one quarter cup of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, there'll be a, a teaspoon of lemon juice in that, and I'm going to use, be using five apples. I got two red delicious, one uh, ginger gold, one gala, uh, and a granny smith. So that's what we're working with. So I'm going to get started here a little bit, and uh, just for the fun of it, quite a while back I bought a, an apple peeler, peeler core, and today we're going to find out how well it works. So uh, let me move over a little bit here, and see if I can't get this thing set up. Alright, supposedly you set it on there, like that. Push it all the way in. All right. The little trimmer blade is there, and can move these out of the way. Before you know it, you've got apple peels and the cord apples. Look at that. There we go. All right. Not nice. Now I'm going to set that in here for now into the bowl, but I will be cutting that up a little bit smaller. Like we're going to have a little bit of lace work here. There we go. That could be a little difficult. So unlatch it, pull it back, reset it, and put another apple in. All right, away we go. Look at that way. Oh, the models of modern science, I tell you. There we go. Push out the core, boom. And we'll put in another one. I hope that camera's lined up fairly decent. Oh, what are we doing here? I'm in too much of a hurry this morning, this afternoon, I should say. Uh, I haven't used this in a while, so I guess I... Oh, there we go. Off and rolling. Well, that one there seems to be... Oh, we may be a little bit ripe on this one. So I will peel that by hand and see what happens. Yep. Maybe four apples before we <laughs> Try again. All right. There we go. One more in the pot. There we go. Okay. Stick that one on there and let it rip. Camera, we'll see what I end up with that other apple, and I'll let you know. Okay, it's time to press on with this project. Yes, I'm back. Okay, we took care of that apple. Core was a little soft, but the rest of the apple was fine. Just to show you, kind of like what they look like here. I turn around and face the camera a little bit. Machine does quite a nice job of slicing them up. Phase two, all right, is coming up. I'm going to be putting in one third of a cup of dried cranberries in with the apples. I'm 
Okay. And then I'm going to be adding the quarter cup of sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar, and the two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch, and the nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay. But the lemon juice is going to go in after, uh, after I stir in the dry ingredients. So all the goodies are in this, what I just read off, right in here. Got a bing, bada boom. Any, hopefully I'll be able to mix this stuff up. And my plan is to basically let it marinate for about an hour or so, maybe two. I want to get everything in here so it starts to... Everything will start drawing some of the juices out of the out of the fruit, the apples. And hopefully we'll have a little bit of juice down the bottom before we put it in the pie crust. Alright. Okay. Keep her going there. I'm gonna get that all mixed in good. There everybody. A little bit here. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna. turning off the camera there shortly. Like I said, I'm going to let this set. My dough is, is out. I'm not quite ready to turn the burners on yet. All right, we're going to let the mix set for a little bit. One piece of apple that I missed here. Let me get that right now and get a little smaller. There we go. Okay, I'll put a cover on this. We'll let the juices work for a while. Boy, you saw the scene, you check it out. I will be back. Okay, I'm back. The apples have been, shall we say, marinating for uh, well over an hour, probably close to an hour and a half or so. And every once in a while I would go in with my spatula and flip the whole thing over. Got some nice juice developing in the bottom. So now, I'm going to try to see if I can roll out a crust here, a 9 inch high plate, and make sure my camera's on, hopefully I'll be able to unroll this, I may have left it out too long in the warmth here, and I the first start of these things to unroll can be a real nuisance, and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, well, so far so good, I guess. Let me just see what we got here. Yeah, let me go a little short here. There we go. All right. We'll see if I can. Well, another wrench, another game. Let's see if we can't get it over where it belongs here. we got sort of why kind of it ain't perfect but then again neither am I sorry that I'm not facing the camera but I had one of them fancy smanchy kitchens with a center aisle that would work a little bit better but it is what it is all right this is going to work out just fine here the oven is on, we're going to go up to 425 degrees, and we'll put that in there for about 45 minutes, hopefully, more or less, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll get the crust out over the edge here, okay, all pressed in nicely, we'll give our ingredients another stir. I don't know if you could, well, there's some nice juices in there now, and you'll probably see them when I pour the, pour the mixture in. So, uh, 
Oh yes. Oh yes. Mm. I believe I'm gonna have to work this around just a mic. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty now. Hopefully my cranberries will spread out a little bit and uh, blend in nicely. We'll get every last bit of this in there. Good sweet stuff there in the pot. Okay, I'm gonna spread this around a little bit here as much as I can. Like I said, I'm hoping my cranberries blend in. Oop, I'm gonna get that on the crust. We get another one going on top here in a minute. Alrighty now. There we go. Okay, can you be lucky with crust number two? the top crust on, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of butter. And I'm going to get a, to my refrigerator here, and I will, there are we here, ah, my small cutting board. I'm going to cut this butter up into little chunks. everything a little bit better, you know? Yes, sir. Got to even this out here and there. One more. Okay. Uh, who's getting lacking here? I think we're pretty well spread out. All right. And now, I will attempt to Top crust on. It appears I may have been successful here. Uh, we're going to see if we can't get all these to connect here with that. With these here. Up to do that. Not going to be doing. 
too fancy with this body. Keep on keeping on here. And the oven's coming up. We're up to 325 degrees. Okay. shot, but that's the way it is. All right. I'm not going to be too cute. I'm going to take my fork and go around the outside edge here. Push it down. little critter some egg wash on the top. Hopefully brown it up nicely. And we'll see. I'm giving it a paint job here. going to have to breathe, so I'm going to have to put a couple of slices, no, a couple, well, five or six little slices in here to let the steam out. Yeah, uh, okay, that should do it. As soon as the oven comes up to temperature, I will be putting it in, and, uh, I will turn off the camera while waiting and clean up my mess here. And we'll be, I'll check back in when I put it in the oven. Do I do so I've seen you checking out? All right. The oven is at 425 degrees. Let's see what's going to happen here. All right. Here's a peek at it right there. Going in on the middle rack, and okay, it's 5:23, so in about 45 minutes from now, with a few checks in between with me, because I'm a nervous Nelly, we'll see if we have an apple pie. So, boy, do self senior checking out. Well, it's been about 40 to 45 minutes. At about the 20 minute time, I went and put this aluminum other pan on top because it was really brown out. And it looks beautiful. We'll see. Ah. I know my back's to you again, but anyways, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna let it cool, and this is gonna be for tomorrow. So, clear my oven and wait for this to cool off, and it'll go in the fridge tonight, and we'll uh, find out. Just how it turned out tomorrow when we have it for dessert. Well, I do saw a senior checking out. Well, good morning, Lloyd Dusoff Senior checking in this morning. Time to make the uh, blue plate special for Wednesday blue plate special. Only it's today it's going to be on a served on a Thursday. Yesterday I made the dessert for today's lunch. It's an apple pie with cranberries in it and uh, 
that's standing by for dessert today. It's in the fridge. And I'm going to try to make us a pork pie or tortier, I believe it's pronounced, or thereabout. And the ingredients for this, I'm going to read them off here. I'm using a quarter teaspoon of ground clove, one quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, one half a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of sage, half a tea half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of brown pepper for the spices in this. And for the ingredients, the goodies going into it, I've got half of a red onion chopped up fine, uh, one celery stalk that's well chopped, and one teaspoon of, of garlic, and one cup of shredded potatoes is going to end up in there, and I've got a cup of chicken stock. Normally I would use beef stock, but uh, I had about a cup or so of chicken stock opened up, so I said, I'm going to use that today. And I have, just what I happen to get at the grocery store, I'm going to have a pound and a half of ground pork going into this and one pound of hamburg. So if it ends up being more than what fits in the pie, I will put the ingredients off to one side and uh, use it for something else. So uh, let's get started with this. and. Uh, We'll see where we're going here this morning. So I have the celery right here. I have the onions with the minced garlic on top. The potatoes are all are uh, been shredded. They're not going anywhere right now. There's the uh, chicken broth standing by, and all of the ingredients that I mentioned to you are in this little bowl, all blended together. So I'm going to start by frying the onions and the garlic and the celery up. I use my favorite lubricant in the frying pan. I use baking fat, a nice big rounded tablespoon of baking fat went in there. Well, I'm not going to cook the heck out of these. I'm just going to soften them up a little bit here. I'll throw in the celery. Okay, let's get a little light on the subject here this morning. Alright, so I'm going to saute this around a little while and uh, I will turn the camera off. And while I'm doing that, we'll get back in just a little bit. Okay, I'm back. The veggies are starting to, the onions and Celery and the garlic are starting to work in here. I'm not going to cook it too long. I'm not going to burn them. I just want to get them softened up. At this point, I'm going to take the seasonings and add that and blend it all in with the onions and the celery and the garlic. And when this is done to the way I'd like it, we will set it off to one side and continue on with this project. Mm. Almost there. All right. I'm going to let this work a little bit. I'll turn the camera off and we'll be back. Okay, we're getting there. We're going to call it. This part of the project done. What I'm going to do is pour the stuff off to one side here. Put it in a bowl so I don't spill it off. All right. And then I'm going to start cooking the meat. Sorry, look. here we're going to put off to one side okay and I'm going to work with the ground pork and the hammer I'm going to break this all up and uh, Work it down 
and I'll be checking out and I'll check back in when things are getting ready to go to the next phase. After this meat's cooked up a little bit here. Okay. And just a little bit of pink left in the meat. I don't know if you can see it, but I've been turning and flipping it all over. And that's about where I want it as far as right now. It's going to continue to cook, but it's, and I'm doing a breaking it up as best as I can to, so we have a nice consistency here. Okay. I'm going to add the onions and celery and garlic now. Blend that in. stock and we're going to bring that up a little bit make it work in here there we go all right I am going to add my taters to that right now not sure if that's a good idea or not, but we're going to find out. It's all going to be blended in and cooked down. Everybody working here. Sure, I get all of the taters mixed in nicely. Okay, we're getting down there. So, the next step in my plan here is we're going to add just a little bit of water to that, probably about a cup of water. Get it up so we have the just about covering everything here. Okay, well, we're going to let this cook for a while. I'm going to turn the camera off. Probably going to take an hour and a half or so to boil the liquid down. And when we get to that phase, I'll check back in. Or at least I'll see you checking out. Well, hey, it's been about an hour and three quarters probably. So we're to the point where I'm going to transfer this into this bowl here to cool just a little bit while I'm waiting for the oven to come up to temperature. I gave it a little taste. Uh, Garrison Keelan would say it's not half bad. cornstarch because I'm running close on time. I want this gets cooked and have time to cool down a little bit before lunch and it's going to be running close. So stiffen it up just a little teeny bit quicker. I added some cornstarch and I crunched up some uh, oyster crackers to soak up a little bit. So there we are. That kind of cut down the cooking time just a little bit. So we're going to go on standby while the oven is heating and I will be putting the goodies in the pie crust very shortly. Okay, the oven has reached critical mass. We're at 375 degrees. We have us a pie crust, a store-bought pie crust and uh, 
All I did was just lay it in there. It's nothing fancy. I'm, I don't think it would be too exciting to watch me do that. I have made me a, an egg wash. With a, maybe half a teaspoon of water in there and whip the eggs up. Now I am going to put the filling in. And I suspect I may have more filling than pie crust, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Whatever's left over, I will find a use for it. That's for sure. Now let's see if we can't get some more in there. the proof is going to be in the eating here. Yep, it's working out just right because once all the grilling is spread out evenly, or mostly evenly, without the air bubbles and everything. Okay, I'm just about going to call that where it's at. And I will attempt to put the top crust on, but before I do, I am going to use a little bit of my egg here to help to seal it when we took the top on. Well, I might just give the dog a treat that's left over, so give her, turn her into a hoover and vacuum it up. <laughs> All right, okay. Move this over here. Okay, we want to try to get this on here somehow without messing it up. All right. Okay. Well, you cheated that again, he says. You got it. Okay, I could come this way a little bit if it wants to give. Bit over each edge. Alrighty. Okay, now I'm gonna start pinching this little critter. Get the dough sealed up. Take the extra and just kind of roll it on. Kind of like so. Seal that up so we don't have any leakage, hopefully. Alright. sealed here. Now I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to go all the way around it. Not fancy, just squish it down. There we go. Like I said, this is not going to be a work of art. It's going to be lunch. I hope. Alrighty now, coming in home stretch. Alrighty. And now, I'm gonna give it a little bit of egg glaze all the way around the top. Ah, there, you get to get a look at me here. I'll turn back to the camera. 
Alrighty now. All the way around the edges. Brown up nicely. What I'll do if this starts getting too brown, I will cover it with a little bit of aluminium foil. Okay, we're almost done, but not quite. I'm going to see if I can't cut some slots in there a little bit. minutes but I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, ready a little sooner than that to put the aluminum foil and try not to burn the crust. So Lloyd Dussault Sr. check it out and the oven's doing its thing. Okay it's been 40 minutes of the pie. I put aluminum foil on the top as soon as the edges got to get really brown and let's see what we got here. All right, out she comes. I don't want to break my crust. There it is. That's the one on the counter. So. Okay, 1119. I'm going to be letting this cool. I would like to let it cool uh, quite a bit more, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, we'll be having lunch around noontime. So when we break it open and see what we have, we'll check back in. Or do salt senior checking out. Okay, Lloyd Dussault Sr. Checking back in. Well, it's the moment of reckoning. I'm going to attempt to cut this pie and see what we have here. I have no idea how it's going to come out. It's going to want to come out of there without a fight. Like I said, I'm flying without it. Any help here? It's the first time I've done one of these. It may just not want to come out of there very well, especially the first piece. We shall see. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. There. Well, that's what I was afraid of in the first one. It ain't pretty, but I will eat the first one. <laughs> Paul gets the next one. Hopefully. Yes, I would like to have let it cool down a little bit more, but unfortunately I didn't get that luxury. Alright. All right. Let's see if I can get a little bit better luck with this one. Set that aside. Alright. Paul gets the one that don't come apart. That's the one we'll picture on the, there we go. So, slice number two came out just fine. So, Paul and I are gonna find out just how this came out today. And we'll check back in after lunch. Well, we saw senior checking out. I do it all the time. All right. Well, we had lunch. Outside of my first piece that looked a little funky when I took it out, the second piece, as uh, we did the money shot, came out real nice, the second one. Uh, we both agree that it's not half bad. It's a pretty, came out pretty doggone good, and I guarantee this was my first attempt at making 
pork pie, but it won't be my last. So we'll set that off to one side for the moment. And we'll get to the apple pie. And hopefully I'm going to be just lucky with the apple pie as I was with the um, Yeah, there we go. Let's lose this train of thought again. Well, I'll get my train derailed. To my pie, my meat pie. <laughs> Don't try to do two things at once. You're getting too old with that. All right. Now, if I'd have been on the ball, I'd have had these utensils all ready to go here. But I was so anxious to get at that meat pie and set aside. All right. Here we go. The right side of that blade. One of these sides is a sharp side and one's a dull side. Uh, I'm to get that bottom cross cut. first piece. Yep, another tough one on the first one, but oh, does that look good. All right, so we will try again here in a second. Uh, don't you love it when things just work out so wonderful? Well, we'll let you know. All right, Okay, that's pie piece number one, my piece. Okay, okay we're going to attack this from a different angle here. Oh dear, just lose this crust, careful. Good things give you a hard time, mate. Eh? There we go. Bada bing, bada boom, the man says. All right. Now we've done the easy part. I'm going to put a little bit of ice cream on there. So I'll get back into the frame here in a second or two. Get the old scuba doom. Yeah. Strawberry ice cream today. All right. That one there. And a small scoop for Paul. He says ice cream puts him to sleep. So we'll make sure we don't put him to sleep because he has to go to work this afternoon. <laughs> Making some music. Okay, kiddies. There we be. All right, mine all looks are pretty, but the second one always comes out better. Lord Dussel Sr. will be checking out and checking out the pie. Thank you. Well, it's the moment of reckoning. So we'll start with the pork pie. We both agreed the pork pie was delicious. And Paul had never had pork pie before. And this is the Canadian style pork pie for the most part and he liked it. And I thought it was pretty doggone good myself. So we'll set the pork pie off to one side. Now the apple pie. Now while it looked a little nasty taking the first slice out, the second slice came out beautifully. But I guarantee if you want to make a good tasting pie, you follow this recipe. Put them old cranberries in with the apple that way, and I think you're going to love it. With a little bit of ice cream to top it off, you can't go wrong. So, the Blue Plate Special Dinner and Dessert is completed. So, we enjoyed the meat pie, and we also enjoyed the apple and cranberry pie. Roy Dussault Sr. checking out, and I hope you try it out.